Hello everybody, I'm here today to show you a short tutorial on how your larynx looks like. So let's first understand what the larynx is. Here I have with me a life-size model of the larynx, which is nothing but a respiratory passage. This is situated in front of the laryngopharynx, which would be where my pen is right now. The, the larynx in its expanse extends from C3 to the C6 of the cervical vertebrae. Above, it is in continuity with your oropharynx and below, it continues as your trachea. Let us now take a look at a little bit about the architecture of the larynx. Our larynx consists of three main components. Number one, the cartilage. Number two, the membranes and the ligaments. And number three, its muscles. In this model that I have prepared, and on my own, I'd rather say that, I've tried to show you five of the six major cartilages of the larynx. These cartilages are the ones that form the major structure of your larynx. So now let's just enumerate them to give you a better orientation of how the cartilages of the larynx are situated. We'll start with the largest of the cartilages, which is the thyroid cartilage. This cartilage is the largest cartilage of the larynx, as you can see, extends from the lateral aspect of it to the anterior aspect. I'll be turning the model to show you that this cartilage is deficient posteriorly. Thus, it does not form a complete ring and is an incomplete cartilage of the larynx. There are two parts of the thyroid cartilage, the laminae, which are the quadrangular things on both sides, and the cornue, which are these elongated tube-like structures. Let's move on to the second cartilage, the cricoid. The cricoid cartilage is the one inferior to the thyroid cartilage, which are painted in pink. This cartilage, unlike the thyroid, is a complete ring. So you can kind of consider this to be the engagement ring of our larynx. I'll be turning this posteriorly to show you how this ring is not deficient posteriorly and thus is a complete arch or a circle. This ring has two components, the lamina, which is posteriorly. As you can see, it's a squarish quadrangular structure. And coming anteriorly, we have the cricoid arch, which is a narrow rim of cartilage. Coming to the third cartilage, which you can see in yellow, and the superior most cartilage of the larynx, called the epiglottis. The epiglottis is a leaf-shaped structure, as you can very well appreciate, and is attached to your thyroid cartilage. I'll be turning the model for you to take a better look at this. The epiglottis is said to have two components, the free end and the attached end. The attached end of the epiglottis is also called its stalk, as I have written over here, and I hope you can see it, but I'm not sure if you can appreciate that. And this stalk is connected to your thyroid cartilage by a ligament. Now, it's very easy to remember the name of this ligament. It's attaching the thyroid cartilage to the epiglottis, hence called the thyroepiglottic ligament. The epiglottis has two surfaces, the lingual surface, and when I turn it over, the laryngeal surface. So this is self-explanatory. You can consider the tongue to be somewhere here. The posterior third of the tongue would be here. And hence, this is called the lingual surface. The epiglottis will be sending three folds to the base of the tongue to form depressions on the side. The folds are called the median, because central, and lateral, glossoepiglottic folds. These glossoepiglottic folds will be extending from the epiglottis to the base of the tongue, forming two depressions on the sides called the vellecula. With this, we have finished three unpaired cartilages of the larynx. Just to review, they are the thyroid, the cricoid, and the epiglottis. Now we'll move on to the paired cartilages of the larynx, which are very small and tiny. In this model, I can only show you two of these pairs. The first one is the arytenoid. You can see the pyramidal structures that have been scribbled with brown on them. These arytenoid cartilages are the most crucial cartilages because they are the ones from where your vocal cord originates. 
and as you can appreciate on the top there are two blobs of glitter these are the corniculate cartilages why corniculate because they sit on the top of the arytenoid like a crown hence corniculate cartilages and they are also known by another name which is santorini's cartilage we are left with just one pair which will be located somewhere here now i cannot show them to you because they are a part of something called the array epiglottic fold and as the name suggests it extends from the arytenoid to the epiglottis with this we have finished six pairs of cartilages of the larynx out of which three are paired three are unpaired and here here's where this video ends thank you so much and i hope you'll like